This is the first in a series of crew resource management videos produced by the Air Command Directorate of Flight Safety. In this video, you will observe the reenactment of a Hercules air accident. This accident was recreated with Canadian Forces personnel both on board the aircraft and the flight simulator. Please pay close attention to this reenactment to determine how the breakdown of crew resource management led to the accident. More importantly, try and determine how proper application of CRM would have avoided this and future accidents. Crew resource management is the effective use of all available resources people, weapon systems, facilities, equipment, and environment by individuals or crews to safely and efficiently accomplish an assigned mission or task. Can Force 33 was the second of three Hercules aircraft arriving at alert Northwest Territories within a short period of time. On board Can Force 33 were five crew members and 13 passengers. The pilot of Can Force 33 was attempting to expedite his arrival by conducting a night visual approach in order to alleviate potential conflicts with the third aircraft. Information from the flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder indicated that the aircraft was serviceable and that the flight was proceeding normally. Alert radio, Can Force 33 on the 1267. Can Force 33, Glower. Can Force 33, we're looking for the actual for alert. Can Force 33, Glowworm, the latest at 21 Zulu is 9,000 scattered, 18,000 thin broken. Visibility is 10 miles in light snow, temperature is minus 22, and dew point is minus 25. And what about the wind for Can Force 33? Can Force 33, Glowworm, okay, the winds are presently calm, sir. The altimeter is 3010. Camp Force 33, Glowworm, you can descend to 10,000 feet to pilot's discretion and report 35 DME on frequency 12525. Camp Force 33, descend to 10,000 pilot's discretion and we'll be doing the visual approach. Camp Force uh, 33, Glowworm, okay sir, I check for a visual approach. Glowworm, Camp Force 6185, estimated ramp at 05. weather in here, so I'm going to turn my gain to Camp Force 6185, Glowworm, roger. Camp Force 6185, uh, Glowworm, uh, roger, land at pilot's discretion. Check the gear down a lock. The surface winds are 290 at 10 grid. 6185. Can Force 33 is out of 1904100000. Can Force uh, 6185, Glowworm, check you're over the end of the runway. And uh, 1267 for Firefox when able. 6185. Radar, it's Can Force 33 through 13000 for 10000. Can Force 33, Glowworm, Squawk Ident, request your present heading. Can Force 33, heading 075. Can Force 33, Glowworm, your radar identified position 30 miles to the west of alert. I checked the visual approach, and altimeter is at 3010, and the winds are calm. Can Force 33, Roger. Okay, that sounds good. Camp Force 33 has the airport in sight. Camp Force 33, uh, Glorm, roger, check that in your position now, 15 miles west of alert. Camp Force 33, roger. Mark, please. Thank you. 
Okay, slowly leveling at 3,900. Sorry, say again. Okay, slowly leveling at 3,900. traffic at this time. 6185 just landed a few minutes ago. Got four street rechecks. Okay, we're just coming down to 1,500 feet. Do you concur with that now? Uh, yep, 1,500 is fine. Okay, 25 for 50. At this point, the navigator scanned his radar scope. The display indicated a radar reversal. The rough surface of the sea ice caused the radar image to appear as if the ground was the ocean and the ocean was the ground. The navigator did not cross-check the aircraft's position with other navigational equipment. Low Arming, M4618-1267. Check. 6186, uh, Glowworm, roger the altimeters at 3010, the surface winds are coming. Landing check. Landing check. Landing check. No smoking, seatbelt lights, galley cargo compartment. It's all up and secure. Seatbelts and harness. Fast on my problem. Go about it. Aft. Loadmaster. Four six one eight six uh, Glowworm, check your thirty five DME at this time. Descend to one zero thousand pilot's discretion. The altimeter uh, three zero one zero. The co pilot was uncertain of the minimum safe altitude in the area and had difficulty reading his approach plate. He did not question the minimum safe altitude as he assumed other crew members had confirmed the altitude. You're better readable at this time, sir. We'll call you a little later, inbound at 26.7. Can you turn the winding lights off, please? On. Off. They're off. Okay. They were never on. impacted the ground at approximately 1,032 feet MSL at 160 knots in a left wing low attitude. The minimum safe IFR altitude was 3,900 feet MSL. This reenactment demonstrates a breakdown in crew resource management that proved fatal. What were the breakdowns of CRM and how could they have been avoided? Use this video in the promotion of flight safety and in the instruction of crew resource management. Have a safe flight. <laughs>